Hey there, my name is Kazara Sultan from the CyberArk Product and Solutions Strategy Team. And I'm Emma Telpi, a graphic designer at CyberArk. Let's take a moment and talk about how to secure your identities during the global workforce transformation. Today's threat and security landscape has evolved significantly. These days, attackers can gain insight into the best ways to breach your organization by investigating commonly made mistakes and risky behaviors amongst your user base. Ultimately, they're monitoring the growing pains of an evolving global workforce and figuring out how to exploit these vulnerabilities. So let's talk about these growing pains. Your workforce has now become more distributed, no longer housed within the typical walls of an organization. Users are working across various locations, work environments, and using a variety of devices. And it's up to you to secure these identities and devices in an ever-changing IT environment. The ultimate challenge will be providing your users with the access they need while continuing to keep everything seamless and secure. And on top of all that, the need for better access management is increasing rapidly within your environment. And that's because the typical enterprise is constantly rolling out new applications throughout the year, which creates a flood of new credentials you need to secure and passwords that users need to remember. All of these changes have created a fundamental shift, one that security teams are having a hard time dealing with across the board. It used to be that organizations would focus on protecting privileged identities, such as IT admins, as they access your infrastructure. But now a much broader scope of users have access to highly sensitive resources while using their usual applications to do their day-to-day -day jobs. Essentially, in today's world, privilege is everywhere, and any identity can be privileged under certain circumstances. Think about what's happening across your own workforce. Let's start with applications first. As your organization moves ahead on critical digital initiatives to grow and stay competitive, your employees may be gaining access to dozens of new business applications, apps that include permissions to view all types of sensitive information. Also, these users may have the ability to take highly privileged actions during those sessions. Next, let's talk about endpoints. Your employees may have permissions to change high-risk controls and settings on their desktops and devices, including the ability, for example, to download unapproved software and even fall victim to threats like ransomware. And lastly, let's talk about credentials. Your employees may often be storing and sharing credentials to their business applications in insecure ways. Oftentimes, this will lead to situations in which ex-employees may still have lingering access to company resources. So it's no surprise that 94% of security leaders say they've had an identity-related breach at some point, and that 61% of breaches stem from compromised credentials. So it makes sense why you're hearing so much about identity being the new perimeter, which I know is kind of an industry buzz phrase by now, but it proves to be a very real approach to protecting your business. Think about it this way. The old perimeter has dissolved, and instead, it's now embedded into every identity across your organization. If we can focus on protecting each of these unique identities, they can become the new perimeter, reducing a significant amount of risk. We can start by leveraging access management tools to enforce strong authentication, modern authorization, and incorporating least privilege into your current business workflows. If we know attackers are ramping up the sophistication and frequency of their efforts, then how can we prevent their success? Here are three solutions that security and IT leaders should be focusing on to better protect your users' identities. Enforce least privilege and MFA policies on all of your endpoints. Limit users from having full admin rights to their desktops, instead letting them escalate their privilege using an MFA prompt if they need to complete a high-risk action. Layer in MFA at the desktop login to enforce stronger authentication. Secure and monitor users' activities within sensitive web applications. Seamlessly record screenshots of all actions taken by specific end users within protected applications and isolate web sessions at the endpoint and prevent end users from copying data or downloading files. And lastly, automatically determine when an end user walks away from their machine and leave their sessions open, and then force them to re-authenticate. Promote a better way for end users to share and store their credentials. Securely store and manage shared passwords in an enterprise vault, either on-premises or in the cloud. Generate and manage strong, secure passwords for web applications and implement secure single sign-on. And lastly, empower users to securely share passwords while ensuring compliance and governance. Thanks, Emma. Yeah, no problem. In conclusion, the security challenges we're facing today are no doubt significant, but we can get ahead of them by implementing an identity security strategy and by protecting your distributed workforce's identities across geographic locations, work environments, and their devices. Thanks for watching. You can learn more about CyberArk Identity Solutions by visiting our website, cyberarc.com.